What's up everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning and welcome back to your daily Bitcoin update. Uh, it's great to have you all here again uh, and in this video I just wanted to, if you're new to this channel, first of all welcome, but I just wanted to take a look at Bitcoin. Um, take a look at some of uh, my, my longer term predictions on Bitcoin, but also some of the, the very short term price movements we've been seeing over the last couple of days. Um, <clears throat> especially after yesterday we had quite a big bearish drop obviously um, I think right now I mean the volume is probably still pretty high it's around 9% of the market cap that's that's relatively high volume has gone up a little bit yesterday it was at around 18,700 um, so yeah let, let's let's take a look at what we're doing so first my uh, my whole thoughts on, on Bitcoin and what I see a little bit for the long term so after this drop, I mean, the market structure was clear, right? We had a big bearish drop, a flag, a drop, a consolidation, not really a flag. Um, other cryptos actually had another flag and then another drop. Now we have dropped down to this level right here uh, between 18,700 and 19,000. And I always said that I at least initially thought this level was going to hold and that this level was also going to bring us um to at least twenty two thousand. all right so that that is a pretty bold claim because from that level at eighteen thousand seven hundred, that's a 16 percent gain all right um if you play with margin that could be a huge trade um i haven't taken a trade yet uh, but i might do that actually later because on the short term though as you can see i am expecting i'm not expecting it to go fast I think it will be a slow uptrend to down to 22,000. And then when we hit 22,000, um, it's completely realistic that somewhere in September, we are still going to drop down to, to this level here between 17 and 16,000. Uh, but that's, that's why I said initially, I think initially 19,000 is strong enough to actually get another uptrend. Uh, so what I expect, you can see that we uh, found resistance here at 28 EMA uh, at around 19,450. Um, I think we're going to find even more resistance at around 19,700. Also with that 50 EMA, that might bring us all the way down to 18,700. And then I might actually take a trade like, uh, like this. It's a great risk reward, to be honest. So I might do something like that, but I'm not sure yet. If you want to know more about that, follow the, the Discord in the, in the comments. But so for the short term, I'm expecting us to stay down here for a little bit longer and then either win a nice bullish breakout or with some fun, better fundamentals, we'll break above 19,700, get up to our first price target at 20,700, probably consolidate for quite some time, then break above that. And once we have broken above 20,700, then our, well, our next stop is 21,700, but 22,000 is very close. All right. So I think something like this. Uh, for the upcoming weeks is the most likely scenario uh, that is my analysis you can definitely disagree with me on that um, but as i said and and it's it's definitely good to realize that i do think this is going to take some time i mean uh if, if you t t take a look at what happened for example the 30th of june um we needed oh we almost we we only needed a week to get to twenty two thousand. Uh, but you can see that it was pretty slow sometimes all right so i'm not expecting this to go very fast but i am expecting it to happen uh so yeah that's my update and my analysis on bitcoin today if you have any questions about it or if you want to discuss that i'm always over for that down in the comments but for now i'd like to thank you all for watching and listening and i hope to see you all in my next videos take care today and bye